Life often requires balancing good with the bad. Many Dakota Prairie people have had a lifetime of soaking in the sun while putting out the wash on the clothesline, planting and cultivating corn, harvesting wheat, or putting up hay. And don't forget sitting on a boat waiting for the walleye to bite, or hitting a little white ball around trying to put it into a hole in the ground, or lying on a towel feeling the warm rays console after a too long Dakota winter. It turns out that all those rays from the sun do something very good and important for us, but at the same time do something that can be very bad. First, the advantages. Exposure to the sun allows for melatonin level swings that encourages a good night's sleep and a positive mood. Also, the sun provides for the natural production of vitamin D that stimulates calcium and phosphate regulation, which in turn encourages bone growth and proper remodeling. Although not proven, vitamin D is thought to be important also in cardiovascular health, cancer prevention, elderly falls reduction, immune function, all bringing reduced death rates. We need more data to prove these last theories, but to sum it up, not only do plants need the sun, but humans do too. Scientists say that north of the 42nd parallel, or about at Omaha, the sun's energy is insufficient for vitamin D synthesis from November through February. Related is the condition we experience up here called seasonal affective disorder, or the winter blues. It's a real depressive condition due to not enough light, treated simply by giving those affected more exposure to the beams of the sun or another strong source of light. On the other hand, there are disadvantages to too much sun, especially in those light-skinned, red and blonde-headed, blue-eyed, Scandinavian, German, Scotch-Irish type. UV radiation is toxic to the skin, and it's the lifetime exposure that counts up. I see the ravages of old soul on the face of my patients with premature aging and cancers of several types. They come in with excessive wrinkles, sores that don't heal, scales that turn turning into little horns and pigmented spots that are spreading. How can something so good be also so bad? Well, bottom line, enjoy the sun, but balance with sunscreening, checking vitamin D levels, and seeing your doctor when that skin bump changes.